So one of the new features I am excited to test out with the DJI Mini 4 Pro is the new precision landing technology. Now I've not used this yet as I've only flown this drone and landed manually, but today I'm going to be putting my life in the hands of the technology here. And I thought you folks would want to join me as we test this out together. If you don't know me, my name is Simon. I'm just another socially awkward drone pilot, but looking forward to today's test. Let's get started. Okay, so just as I'm waiting to get a satellite connection here, there we go. I'm just going to tell you folks that the way precision landing works, or at least how we use it, is on takeoff, we need to take the drone to about 10 meters vertically up. Okay, don't move horizontally. And at about that height of 10 meters, just let it hover for a few seconds. That's all you need to do in theory. It should readjust the landing point to land at the same spot it took off from. So let's go ahead now and take off. And I could be wrong, but I believe you do have to take off using the take off command in the Fly app rather than doing a manual take off. So let's do that. Take off. Okay, and now we're going to take the drone straight up to a height of about 30 feet. Yep, just over, which is about 10 meters or thereabouts. Okay, I'm just gonna let it hover there for a moment or two, just to make sure we have that precision landing, which I think we do. I believe the icon next to the satellite uh, telemetry in the top right-hand corner of the screen just lets you know whether you have precision landing enabled. So if that was red, then it means you don't, but because it's white for us, I believe that means we do. So what I'm gonna do is just fly out a few hundred feet, just as you know, part of this test. We'll waz it around a bit, and then we'll use return to home and I'm not going to touch anything on the controls and we'll see how the drone is able to handle the landing here. Of course, I do have the landing pad here so we can see exactly how accurate the landing is. And yep, yeah, we're just over 1200 feet away. So what I'm going to do now is engage the automatic return to home. Return to home. And I'm going to pop the controller down on the floor so I am not touching anything and we'll see where the drone lands and how accurate, how close it is going to be to the takeoff point. It's amazing really just how much technology DJI are able to cram in these sub 250 gram drones. Now, what I believe is going to happen is it will hover a few feet above the landing pad and then readjust itself if need be. So it looks pretty close actually so far. It does, it looks very close. Oh, I'll tell you what, that is not bad at all. What is that, about three inches away, I want to say? Yeah, that is not bad at all. So that is precision landing, but it could have been a fluke, so maybe we should do another test just to make sure. Let's go ahead and take off again, shall we? So once more, I'm going to use the takeoff command rather than doing a manual takeoff. Takeoff. Home point updated. Yep, yeah, we'll take it to a height of about, well, it doesn't need to go that high, but it looks like we are sorted. Precision landing has a white icon. So now let's turn the drone around and fly in a different direction, shall we? Try and confuse it a little bit. Oh, I can be naughty. There she goes. Okay, and we're just at over a thousand feet once more. So let's once more engage return to home. Return to home. And we'll see how the drone performs on the second attempt at precision landing. So that first attempt was really, really close. As I say, about three to four inches off from the center of the mat or from the pad. So the drone is going to have to reposition quite a bit in order to line up with the pad here coming in from this angle. So yeah, this will be an important test, I feel, to see how this works. Well, it looks like, yep, yeah, I didn't know if the Mini 4 Pro would actually rotate so that it lands at the same orientation that it took off with, but it does. So it has readjusted itself to face the camera again that I'm recording with. I'm not touching anything here. It looks like it is a little bit of ways off from the pad, but it may be readjusting here. Let's see. Okay, well, it looks like we did manage to throw it off a little bit 
with those maneuvers that we did and by flying it off to the side rather than straight ahead as now the Mini 4 Pro has landed about a foot away from the center of the pad. So it seems that precision landing isn't perfect. Maybe not quite as precision as the name would suggest, but it is still doing a stellar job at bringing it back to pretty much where we took off from. So this time I'm going to fly the drone behind the starting location. Home point updated. And once again, taken the Mini 4 Pro out about a thousand feet. So let's go ahead. You know the routine. We, yep, return so let's to return home. to home. And we're also coming in from quite a height this time, 310 feet. Here it comes. I'll tell you what, it's not far off. It's not far off. Woo! Looks like it's quite accurate in fact. Maybe not as accurate as I hoped it would be. Interestingly, it's landed in pretty much the same place it did after taking off for the second test. So yeah, I wonder if it somehow had in its mind that that was where it was supposed to land, even though it did take off from the center of the landing pad. I don't know. But there we go then, folks. I think that's three tests with the precision landing. <sighs> It's done a great job at collecting the grass. Okay, folks, so we just completed three tests here on the precision landing with the DJI Mini 4 Pro. And we had some mixed results, but in all honesty, the most we experienced was the landing being about a foot away from the takeoff point. So at the very least, even if it's not really precision, it is a huge improvement over what I've experienced with the previous mini drones. Sometimes they can land up to five to six feet away from the takeoff points. So that has certainly been reduced. So folks, please do share your own thoughts on these tests today. I appreciate you watching the video. Hopefully it's been enlightening for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to be notified of future Mini 4 Pro updates. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.